So we're about to start construction on the first phase of the Granville Connector project. And the project uh, is creating a comfortable, accessible, all ages and abilities, walking and cycling connection on the Granville Bridge between Drake and Granville, and at the south end um, with the Arbutus Greenway at Fur and Fifth. In 2020, uh, Council approved uh, the long-term design, uh, which was what we called the West Side Plus option. Um, which included uh, a number of features, but it included uh, separated walking and cycling on the west side of the bridge, as well as a wide sidewalk on the east side of the bridge. And we heard really clearly from people that people wanted to be on the west side of the bridge. Uh, the views there were better. Rather than putting all of the space that we could get from reallocating two lanes of traffic into the west side, people also thought it was important over the long term to be providing an accessible and comfortable connection on the east side of the bridge for walking. So that's how we uh, came up with the West Side Plus. The biggest component of work is the replacement of the loops at the north end with an accurate uh, street network. Um, so a lot of the early work will be focused on that because it means removing uh, both the loops and then it means removing the uh, gramble, a portion of the gramble bridge north of the Pacific and replacing that with a uh, grade. So replacing the structure with an at-grade road. There's a period of time uh, in the construction uh, starting later this year, um, either um, kind of mid mid-summer or into early fall, where Granville Bridge north of the ramps will be fully closed as we replace that piece of structure with an at-grade street. Uh, so during that time, that's when uh, everyone's going to see the biggest changes in terms of travel patterns. Uh, so northbound traffic would need to use the Seymour ramp. Uh, they wouldn't be able to continue on to uh, Granville Street for that period of time. And southbound traffic coming from downtown would need to use the Howe ramp. Um, so we will see um, some diversion of local diversion of traffic. Uh, with a project like this, normally we don't see that creating uh, big issues because you know, someone might decide to take Burrard Bridge instead, and a few people will do that. So it, it might take a little while for traffic to adjust, but uh, we're not expecting major uh, issues to come out of it. And if we do start to see things, we'll uh, work to be sure that we're uh, addressing those issues.